problem is that there's so many different co-infections in Lyme disease that this clinical diagnosis sort of falls apart because it's there's so many different aspects of the disease that involve different uh, infectious agents, the co-infections with Lyme. <clears throat> that makes it a very complicated process and also makes it very difficult to treat because these different co-infections are really quite different, quite unique. There's some overlapping sensitivities in terms of therapies, but by and large, depending upon the types of co-infections, the treatments can be uh, different. Not Maybe not dramatically different, but different. And testing for co-infections is not simple, it's not easy. And I think that's one of the things that's held back the treatment of Lyme disease. Well, again, Lyme disease is one of the uh, problems that are associated with the neuropsychiatric and neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, the infect co-infections in particular in Lyme are associated either together with Lyme or separately from Lyme uh, with uh, neurodegenerative and neuropsychiatric diseases. Uh, I think this is now becoming apparent, uh, if not uh, widely accepted. Uh, I think in the future, the, the role of these different uh, infections will be more and more important, and their treatment will be more and more important in terms of solving uh, some neuropsychiatric and some neurodegenerative diseases. We're rediscovering infections, particularly chronic infections, as uh, major players in a variety of chronic illnesses. Now, one of the problems that we've had with chronic illnesses is that in the past, they've been dismissed, uh, in many cases, uh, as uh, psychiatric problems um, of a non-biological nature. In other words, uh, people were written off as crazy if they had some of these neurological signs and symptoms that we now know are related to various chronic infections, Lyme being one of the most difficult ones because it involves so many different co-infections. But as the world has become more complex, and uh, they're complex meaning uh, environmental uh, problems uh, associated with, with the world become more complex, these problems become more complex and more difficult to solve, and so it takes more time and more effort. And I do think that uh, infections, chemical exposures, heavy metal exposures, uh, all of these things build up with time and they all add a layer of complexity to the disease process. And so we have to unwind this complex process to understand some of these chronic illnesses. And I think that's why there's been such an increase or explosion in some of these chronic illnesses. The, the bacteria have been around a long time. They've been around for millions of years. And why now uh, do we see this? Is it because we're able to diagnose it better? Well, that may be part of it, but I don't think that's everything. Well, if you take, if you look at some of the most devastating neurologic diseases, uh, it seems to be the patients are getting younger and younger. Even though we're living older and older, you'd think, well, well okay, if you see it in older and older patients, but yet we're seeing it in younger and younger patients. There has to be a reason for it. But chronic infections have been around a long time. Uh, these, uh, these bugs that we were talking about today have been around for millions of years. Why are they a problem now uh, so much uh, that they weren't a uh, hundred years ago, maybe? And I think uh, the, probably the reason is that uh, there's so many different ways in which we're being bombarded with uh, so many different uh, environmental insults to our bodies. Uh, our nutrition isn't probably as good as it was 100 years ago. Uh, certainly the chemicals that we uh, breathe, uh, drink, uh, are exposed to thousands of chemicals that were never around before historically. Um, that simply has compromised our, our immune systems and our ability to respond to infections like the ones we see in Lyme disease. I think all that plays a role. Now, it's going to take a while to sort it all out, but I think it all plays a role. Now, I'm uh, focusing more on some of the uh, universal problems that patients face when they have chronic illnesses. 
One of the universal problems is uh, mitochondrial function is impaired in all patients that have, are chronically ill. And we're addressing that problem. So this leads to uh, fatigue. It can in some cases lead to pain. In other cases lead to neurologic problems, uh, cognitive deficits, mood changes, and so on and so forth. Because all of these uh, actions require energy. And if energy is impaired, uh, then uh, it's a problem. So that's one of the things that we're approaching. Uh, it, and basically nobody else that I know of is taking this approach, is trying to find out uh, what's wrong with the mitochondria. People are chronically ill, and what can we do to fix it? 